Hi, welcome to Jamaican Cooking 101. Today we're making escaviched fish. And yes, I have a video already on escaviched fish, but today I'm using a fish filling. So let me prep the ingredients and we will be right back. Stay tuned to Jamaican Cooking 101. Thanks for staying with us. Welcome back. So I have my ingredients prepared already. I have the fish seasoned with basic salt and pepper. I have cut the onions, peppers and carrots and I have my draining utensils as well as I've seasoned the flour. The flour has a bit of salt and pepper and just a bit of garlic powder. Now I've dried the fish before seasoning so that I reduce the moisture. This will help to give a nice crisp when the fish is fried. So I'm lightly flouring the fish and then I'm going to dust off the excess flour before adding it to the heated oil or the hot oil. So I have already placed the pan to heat and have added oil. So I'm just going to immerse these pieces of fish into the oil and I'm doing a basic shallow fat frying and we are not going to overcrowd the pan but these are small pieces so we're going to put in enough so it can fry off quickly. All right you could also fry it without flouring it. In my other video of escovich fish I did not flour the fish and you can get just about the same result it's just that you get a better crisp when it is floured and it prevents sticking as well as some amount of burning so once we have the fish being fried on one side we're gonna turn it but in the meantime let us prepare the escovit sauce so i have in this uh, saucepan some vinegar water and sugar and I've added some pimento berries. I will just quickly turn these pieces of fish. We don't want them too dark as well as we don't want them too light. So we want that in between golden look. So we are multitasking here. While the vinegar, the spiced vinegar is being prepared, we are checking on the fish. We already have the tray and the cooling rack prepared to remove the fish from the hot oil. Now that the vinegar has come to a boil, we are going to add in the carrots. We are adding the carrots first simply because they are harder to cook. And then we will add our hot pepper. We have some green, red and yellow hot peppers and we have our onion rings. So I am giving that a good stir. And then I'm going to lower the flame and allow it to cook through for just about a minute or two. We don't want the vegetables to be soggy. I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook through. Now, escovit sauce, you can get it as spicy as you want to, or you can have it a little on the bland side it depends on how you prefer it all right so you would you would put in the amount of pepper based on how you prefer the sauce so i have the fish here and i'm gonna take these out for draining and add some more i'm using the cooling rack and a tray simply because i want air to be able to pass through i don't want the fish to steam up while it is being cooled so if i use the cooling rack then air can evenly circulate and i'll get the fish crisp and nice so i have laid out the fish here and i'm gonna add the escovit sauce and this escovit fish could be had with festival fried dumplings bami whatever it is that you want to serve it up with today i'll be having this escovit fish with some steamed plantain and boiled yam now i'm pouring some of that vinegar that spice vinegar so that the fish can be well immersed into it the flavors can uh, 
be well embedded into the fish there's another way a traditional way of doing escovite sauce where you do it the day before and you layer it with the sauce so the fish is fried and it is layered with the sauce and I will show you another video sometime in the future how this is done. Your escovite sauce could be done well in advance and you store it in a jar. And so each time you fry fish like this, you could go ahead and add the sauce. So try this recipe and let me know how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to always garnish seafood with some some citrus be it lime lemon orange or any one of the citrus fruits so there we have it it's escovitch fish using fish fillet right so go ahead and enjoy this dish do like comment subscribe and share 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 thank you so much for watching jamaican cooking 101